Maybe you're not that one individual within the company that the that the owner sends like cycles everybody through. Maybe you're just another another technician, but you have that heart that you want to pass on the information. And the hard part is how are you making good time on the job site, you know, while also teaching? And then the other thing is you don't have a lot of, say, scrap stuff like you could just throw it away when you're done. So, for instance, the very first braze joint that I was allowed to braze in the field was not at a service valve and not at the indoor air handler. It was when we had to join two long lengths of line set together in the middle of, of like the long run. And so that was a great spot for me to do my first braze joint because, you know, that technician knew, hey, I could I could pull these lines together. I still have some more room. It's not like he's going to burn the cabinet on the unit. So there's definitely some challenges in there uh, because you don't get to just, you know, burn burn through stuff and everything. And a lot of times when you're a new technician, you don't get to use a torch at home. Maybe you don't have a torch. You know, maybe you're just brand new. Uh, for duct work and things like that, I that's something I, I really recommend taking the scraps home and just practicing yourself like at home to try to get, get things down in a point where it's like, hey, you don't have any barbs when you're cutting with the sheet metal, tin snips and things like that. But I agree completely with like use the time in the service truck or the installation truck, they should always be learning, asking questions, or maybe you can answer questions, you know, while you're riding. And that, that technician, you know, can learn at home. But while you're doing things on the job site, like doing the low voltage wiring, you can teach, you know, you can reward that other technician for like, hey, you're, you have a good work ethic, like, let me show you some stuff, you know, take some time, because the reality of it is, you as a team with this uh, apprentice, you're going to get faster and faster as you go. So you're going to have to take some time to properly teach the individual. And that really is going to uh, reward the company. And a lot of times that owner sees that and sees how effectively you've taught that, that technician. And now, hey, they're out going and doing the job sites as well. Yes, it took a little time to invest. And yes, you didn't get it done as quickly. But a lot of times, you know, it's it's quicker if you do it slower and correct than to do it multiple times because you didn't convey the information right.